Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to dig up and save your ranunculus corms. You'll know that it's time to dig up your ranunculus corms when they're done flowering and the leaves have started to turn crispy and brown from the heat. To dig them up, you can take a hand trowel and very gently dig up underneath each one of the plants. You can pull them up and shake off any excess dirt that's hanging on to the roots. And here is that again with a different plant. One of the most exciting things about digging up ranunculus corms after they've finished flowering is that you'll find that they've actually multiplied where you planted one, you now might have two, three, or even four corms that have developed. Not only do you have more corms than what you started with, but they're also going to be much larger. You won't always be able to pull apart a clump of corms this easily, but definitely give it a go when you dig yours up. If not, the corms will definitely be able to be separated once they've dried. When digging them up, be sure to pull off any stalks or greenery that's still attached to the corms. Here's a close-up of one of the clump of corms that I dug up, and I'll wait to pull these apart until after they dry since they look a little tangled. A lot of this excess dirt is going to come off when they dry, so don't worry too much about how much dirt is left on your corms. Here's all the corms that I harvested, so now let's move on to drying them. What you're going to need for drying them is a nice warm location where they're going to get some airflow in between each other. I'm using this plant flat tray. Really probably any big container will do just as long as they can get some airflow. Drying time will probably depend on how warm it is and your humidity level. Anywhere between a few days to a week. I'm going to put mine out of direct sunlight because I don't want them to get too crispy too fast. Within a few days, your corms will be dried. They're gonna feel a little crunchy. Uh, they're gonna look shriveled and a little sad, but I promise this is how you want them to be so they won't rot while they're in storage. This will be the time when you can easily pull apart any clumps that you weren't able to pull apart previously. For storing them over the summer, fall, and early winter, a paper bag works great. I'm gonna put mine in my laundry room cabinet since it's dark and it's temperature controlled. I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching and happy gardening.